Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? Back at it once again. A Koski of Fun Day. Kicking that shit for here for you and for yours. And um, I really ran into this water. But it is when I read this article, it shocked the shit out of me. And I had to just have to do a video about it. Now, this is from Natural News. I subscribe to that. It's pretty good, good stuff every now and again. And um, this article says the CDC admits HIV is exploding among transgender women. Total silence from the left wing media. Just like with the spread of anal cancer among homosexuals. Hmm. This came out April 24th, 2019. Let's see what it says. It used to be AIDS as widely regarded as a gay disease, but now it's a transgender disease as well. With new data by the U.S. Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, showing an astonishing one in seven transgender women are infected with HIV. According to the CDC, Dear Colleague Letter, about 14% of the transgender women that are disease written, the vast majority are either African American, black with 44%, or Hispanic Latina with 26%. Conversely, only 3% of transgender men has HIV, the letter further reveals. And as to why these transgenders have disappointingly have higher rates of HIV AIDS, has nothing to do with their sexual version or promiscuity or promiscuity claims the CDC. No, it's supposedly because transgender people face obstacles that make it hard to access HIV services, such as stigma and discrimination, inadequate employment and housing, and limited access to welcoming and supportive health care, which is bullshit. Addressing these barriers is essential to the health and well being of transgender people and the meaning of the goals of the proposed federal initiative in the HIV epidemic, academic, a plan for America. The CDC letter goes on to claim the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, is committed to working with you to make sure all transgender people can get all they need to prevent HIV and stay healthy if they have HIV. Hmm. Now here's the next article, back to the other part. The World Health Organization. Now, for those that don't know, the CDC, which is out of Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, is the nation's United States services, you know what I'm saying, for disease control. The World Health Organization is for the world. The World Health Organization says being LGB is normal, but playing video games is a disorder. <laughs> Not surprising is the fact that the mainstream media is nowhere to be found on reporting on horrific disease trends among transgenders, instead offering a same science that was also given to the data showing that anal cancer is rampant among homosexual men. Transgender women and men are at high risk of getting HIV. The CDC clearly states in this letter, which is signed by Dr. Eugene McCray, MD, and Dr. Jonathan H. Vemin, MD, MPH, both of the agents' National Center for HIV AIDS, viral hepatitis. STD and TB prevention. At the same time that the CDC published this information, the World Health Organization announced that individuals who claim to be transgender should not be classified as suffering from a mental illness. In its 11th edition of the WHO International Classification of Diseases, the ICD publications, readers will no longer find any reference to gender concurrency being a mental disorder. This decision by the WHO hints upon an international agency desire to reduce the stigma associated with having gender dysmorphia. It is taken out of the mental health disorder because we have a better understanding that this wasn't actually a mental health condition, stated Dr. Leo Say, a WHO employee who coordinates adolescents and at-risk populations. So he started these adolescents with kids. Leaving it there with the cause stigma. So in order to reduce the stigma while ensuring access to the necessary intervention, this was placed upon a different chapter, the sexual health chapter, in a new ICD. Meanwhile, the WHO who decided to classify people who enjoy playing video games have an addictive behavior disorder. This disease classification and a whole new stigma to the hobby enjoyed by millions of children. As a member of the American College of Pediatrics says, you can either alter your you can alter your body. But you cannot change your sex, wrote one bite bar news commentator about the news. That is, that is hard work in your DNA and it cannot be altered. 
Too few of these challenges challenge these so-called experts. They are not experts. They have ulterior motives. It is the same as climate change, global warming, and whatever next scheme is going to be. Now, to say that when kids playing video games is addictive, and it's, in, and it's a, a disorder, but to take out homosexuality and transgender is not a mental disorder, that should tell you something right there. And the anal sex being, anal cancer being rampant among men. You know what I'm saying? Which is a massive cover up. Massive, massive cover up. You know, your asshole and your anus is, is made for exit, not for entering. You know what I'm saying? But they're not really talking about that. So as the cancer rises, more people getting sick and sicker and sicker. Anyway, this will feel I really waited to. But I read this stuff like, damn, people got to know. And as you notice, most of you that are getting caught with that is... 44% said it was black people. You know what I'm saying? So it tells you that it's an extermination plot or plan. You know what I'm saying? To get rid of our people. Y'all better think about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Think about what's really, really going on. You know what I'm saying? According to reports, men with HIV who have sex with other men are 100 times more likely to develop anal cancer than HIV negative men who exclusively have sex with women. This suggests that anal cancer is a disease that's most likely affect non-straight males or who are on the verge of or already have AIDS. And the fact that, again, is likely to resuffle some feathers. Mm. We got to wake up, man. You know what I'm saying? We can't let these people do this to us. Anyway, this is a Koski of Fun Day. You know what I'm saying? Breaking this down for you and for yours. Much love.